hello guys welcome back again to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you all how to make woolen caterpillar using wool cutting board and fork now to begin get the first color of wool and wrap it around the cutting board for first layer second layer third layer and fourth layer Attach needle at the extension of the wool, then sew to secure. Cut open one side of the cotton board, then pass needle and wool inside the spindle of the cotton board, then sew to secure to have a rounded shape woolen design. Then set the woolen design aside, get the second color of wool, wrap it around on the cotton board, wrap the first layer, second layer, third layer and fourth layer just as you did in the first one. Again, sew to secure, then cut one side of the cutting board, pass needle and wool inside the spindle of the cutting board, then sew to secure to have a rounded shape. Here now, Attach a medium sized peel right at the center of the woolen design, then sew to secure. When you are done with this, make the first color of wool 3 pieces, the second one 3 pieces with this very one that has bead at the center, that is 7 in all. Set them aside. Now get the fork, put two strands of wool right at the middle of the fork, then wrap around the first color of wool on the fork for 30 times. Tie to secure. Take the two strands of wool already at the middle of the fork, then tie firmly the woolen design and then cut open the circumference of the woolen design to make a pom pom. Okay, now is the time to make the caterpillar with all the woolen designs. Then start with the woolen design, the rounded shape that has bead. Follow along as I'm doing all of that. At this point, attach the pom pom which will form the head of the caterpillar then sew back again make a handle and then sew to secure
At this point, the caterpillar is almost set. Now get the second color of wool. Make two knots. Attach that to the pom pom to make the eyes. Please guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you. I believe you all will find this tutorial very easy to follow. Thanks so much for watching and I'll surely see you all in my next one. Bye!